Can you believe China? Once the world's biggest maker of goods is now stumbling? Clashes with the US, tangled supply lines, and tech hurdles are causing a huge shakeup. This isn't just about losing money, but who's the boss worldwide? Can countries find new ways to make things without China's help? And here's a shocker. Despite the chaos, many companies are still clinging to China. Will this drama change our world? Think about China as the world's biggest factory, but right now that factory is running into some serious trouble. These aren't just money problems like losing dollars or yuan. The problem is so huge it's shaking up the world's balance of power, changing who's in charge and how things work globally. China's rise as a powerful economic force is mainly due to its manufacturing industry. By making about one-third of all things that are produced worldwide, China has become a very important player in the global economy. This new economic strength has allowed China to build important relationships with other countries, have a big say in politics, and create stability in its own region. China's ability to make things has helped its economy grow a lot. Because it can produce so many things, China has become a very important supplier of goods to countries all over the world. This has helped China make strong economic connections with different countries, which has been good for everyone involved. These connections have helped economies grow and people become more prosperous. But now, China is facing trouble. It is in a trade dispute with the United States. This means they are arguing about how they trade with each other. The United States has put taxes on Chinese products and accused China of not being fair. This has hurt China's manufacturing industry. On top of that, there are problems with the global supply chains and limits on technology. All of these things show that relying too much on China for manufacturing is dangerous. In June 2023, China's industrial activity shrank for the third month in a row, and its non-industrial activity was the worst it has been all year. The problems in China's industries are causing big changes in the world. The United States and China are having more and more problems with each other. This is making more industries worried and not trust China as much. Countries that used to be closely connected to China are now unsure about what to do. China's actions in other parts of the world and its strong military have also worried people about possible land conflicts. The crisis we're facing has made countries think differently about how they make things. Governments worldwide are trying to make their supply chains more diverse. They want to find alternatives to China, and they're not so vulnerable to problems there. This change is creating a new global manufacturing scene. It brings both opportunities and challenges for countries that want to take China's place as the leader in making things. However, even with all the pressure on them, many companies are hesitant to move their production out of China. The main reason is that China is really good at making things. It has a complete system for making stuff. And trying to set that up somewhere else would be expensive and complicated. China's manufacturing industry also benefits from having many interconnected industries close together, making it a smart choice for businesses. The crisis in China's manufacturing industry isn't just about money problems. It's changing how power works worldwide. It's causing countries to rearrange how they make things and affecting who has control. It's making countries think about new paths to take. As the situation in China's factories continues, it will keep shaping the way countries trade and interact on the world stage for a long time to come.